On March the 11th, I announced that I was opening up all vaccination sites to all adults by May 1st. Many governors, Democrats and Republicans, responded and decided to beat that date, which was good. Thanks to their hard work and the hard work of the American people and the hard work of my team, I'm announcing today that we're moving that date up from May 1st to April 19th nationwide. That means by no later than April 19th, in every part of this country, every adult over the age of 18, 18 or older will be eligible to be vaccinated. I'm pleased to report, according to CDC estimates, over 80 percent of teachers, school staff, school staff, and child care workers received at least one shot by the end of March. And that's great progress protecting our educators, our essential workers. And because our vaccine program is in overdrive, we're making it easier to get a vaccination shot. There's a lot of good news, but there's also some bad news. New new variants of the virus are spreading and they're moving quickly. Cases are going back up. Hospitalizations are no longer declining. While deaths are still down, way down from January, they're going up in some places. So you might ask, everybody's asking, what does that mean? I understand that people may find it confusing that the vaccination program is saving tens of thousands of lives, but the pandemic remains dangerous. Let me explain it in a single word. Time. Time. Even moving at the record speed we're moving at, we're not even halfway through vaccinating over 300 million Americans. This is going to take time. The virus is spreading because we have too many people who, seeing the end in sight, think we're at the finish line already. But let me be deadly earnest with you. We aren't at the finish line. We still have a lot of work to do. We're still in a life and death race against this virus.